Hey, happy Earth Day. My goodness, it is already Wednesday of the week and have a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful day today. Before I forget, we only have one planet. So I am super happy that you are safe and you are doing well. From what I've been looking at, it's been such a really good experience for you in terms of looking at different types of pollution, making your action statements. The hardest part now is doing our best and remembering to celebrate Earth Day every day. So today is Earth Day, April 22nd. Before I get started, I want you to know that Mr. Steery, before he left, um, he showed us a very powerful video to the staff at Parkway. And it's about these amazing students from the Grassy Narrows First Nation. And they're a bit up north, northern Ontario. And we, we have it pretty lucky. We have um, good schools. We have amazing social services. But in remote places like Grassy Narrows First Nations area, they don't have that. Okay, so the kids here are, there, are saying, wait a minute. As much as we don't have all this stuff, our home, our Canada, our planet, there are some beauty in it. So it's their way of um, celebrating their culture, but also celebrating where they come from. So I want to thank Ms. Kafari for sharing this video with us. But it was it's, it's so powerful that I think that you need to watch it a little bit. Nijuan Jinan Artist, Home to Me, the Grassy Narrows First Nation. Let's take a quick listen to their video. So, so really, really cool stuff. I'm very happy that you had a quick listen to it, but certainly listen it today in your own time. Moving on to what's happening for today. So we have that amazing video. Again, you have these audio video lessons from me. So look for that symbol. We'll continue with 3D Nets today, but it's a little bit more engaging, a little bit more um, on your own terms. You got some your turn questions for sure. For language, we'll celebrate Earth Day. And I want a big shout out for everyone who is wearing blue or green today to celebrate Earth Day. My kids and I have something on the Twitterverse, so take a look at that sometime today. Please take a picture and send it to me, or you can also share your outfit on today's exit ticket. Environmental stewards. Do you know what that is? Well, environmental steward is someone who protects our natural environment by making responsible choices and actions for a safer, cleaner, healthier, and sustainable planet. In other words, the stuff that you do every day, these actions that you do, affect our planet. We only have one. If everyone does something bad to the environment, we are all affected at some point, at some way. So here are some environmental stewards that are that what they're seeing in our class. So Morgan, I can reduce pollution by recycling more. Landon, I cannot litter. Alia, 
I can avoid using lots of gas for the car and other stuff because it takes up air pollution. So there's a lot of talk about um, environmental friendly cars, hybrid cars. Those are great options. Copica, I can reduce pollution by recycling and reusing. David Potts, amazing. I can reduce pollution by planting trees. Now, there are seedlings right now, probably near around the parks and all that stuff. Don't go there right now, but certainly um, there are some seedlings. You can actually transplant them and put them somewhere. It will grow really, really tall. Um, so just keep that in mind. You don't have to go to the nurseries to get there in your neighborhood. There are some seedlings maybe from maple trees, from those maple keys that dropped. Um, so definitely take advantage of it. Um, I would not go to it right now because we need to be socially distancing, but certainly planting trees is something really, really important. Just don't be too close to many people right now. Um, Alyssa, I can reuse and recycle. I can plant trees, ride my bike. Jackson, I can save water. Water is a big deal for the little kids in my my home we just keep telling them that hey you, you gotta stop the water you're killing all the fish you're killing all the fish another way in other words if you continue you to use up water that ineffectively sometimes those water are going to be less and less and less we have to make sure we protect the water that we have we have clean water so keep that in mind clean water is good for us but not everyone is fortunate as us haley I can turn off the top, great. I can turn off the light when not, you're not using it. I can pick up garbage off the ground if you see it. That one, just be very careful when you're picking up garbage. Sometimes there could be something that could hurt you, um, maybe some glass or anything like that. So just keep that in mind when you're doing that. I can reduce pollution by recycling, walking instead of driving, excellent. I think a lot of um, cars are off the road right now because we're socially distancing. And the COVID-19 has really opened up our eyes in terms of things that we do a lot of, which is use carbon fuels and, and the pollution going in the air. So certain places in the world like China, certain places in you know certain parts of Ontario even, um, you can see that and, and, and those climatologists can see that, wow, it's a lot cleaner from the, from the shots that they get from the satellite photos. You can see that you can see the mountains you can see these things that you couldn't before because there's so much smog um josh said i can reduce water pollution by saving clean water carrot nor i can reduce pollution by not throwing waste where i want certain things you can definitely reuse things you can definitely compost Jaden, for sure i can use uh, a metal water bottle something that can be reusable and cleaned out after just continue to make good choices and I'm really, really enjoying all your responses. These are tremendous, tremendous, amazing shout outs for sure, but um, I wanna challenge you to practice this every day. So there's a lot of talking, a lot of writing, but then do you actually practice this every day? Mr. Mendoza tries his best, but certainly I can do better and I know that you can do better too. So every little action counts. For today, there's a lot of math stuff. I won't go through that right now, but there are some really cool activities. The movement activity for today is no video. Okay, so it has no videos for today. But the challenge of the day is very simple. Have you ever tried balloon juggling? Blow up three balloons and set a one minute timer. See if you can keep all three up for the entire time. If this is too easy, try adding more balloons additional time. This is kind of pretty cool. If you have balloons, um, try to use the ones that are blue and green. Kind of keep that theme of Earth Day. If you don't, you can certainly just use something that you can juggle with, um, learn to juggle, but something that can kind of get you moving. There is no video again, but it's a, an activate your home challenge from Recess Guardians. Everyday Edit is America's first Earth Day. Five you have to find. Look really, really carefully. Read it out loud. And mashup math is pretty cool. Which one does not belong? It is Wednesday. Choose one 3D shape that does not belong. Provide a mathematical reason to support your answer. Just so type it down here. So if you do choose the box here, maybe it's an Amazon box. Tell me why. So choose. Uh, maybe I'll put Amazon box. And then I can start typing here. Okay, down below. Uh, epic reading it's the same thing that you've been doing before great 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 collection i know that some of you are 
working really hard. I love the hacks point, point, of, view, point of view here. There's a bunch of things that you can hack up. Um, really cool stuff there. Art for Kids Hub. Um, Kopika has got her dragon here. So thank you for doing that, sharing that with me. There's an Earth Day challenge from the actual YouTube channel from Art for Kids Hub. Take a look at it. And last but not least, your exit ticket looks something like this. Earth Day. You scroll all the way down. There is something to do with, did you wear green or blue today's Celebrate Earth Day? If you said no, that's totally fine too. Um, if you do wear it though, please share you, what you've, um, your outfit. And then we're going to try to make, create a collage or definitely send it out to other scholars in the entire school. Have a great, happy, happy, happy Earth Day. And again, if there's anything that you need, email, call, or just let me know. Thank you.